not salty at all. <laughs> Couple more questions, if that's okay. Tell me you about the mirror. About the mirror room at Atlas. Yeah. What's it used for? Well, it's mainly for the auto hypnosis module. Uh, you go in and you stare into the mirror and you go into a trance. Then, when you're ready, you come back out. So you just go in whenever you want to? Oh, no. Um, there's certain times when you're allowed in, and uh, only they know the combinations anyway, oh, so you can't really get in. But you don't know the combination? No. I just cross my legs, lose <sighs> blood to them, and then have to uncross them. But it's like, it just feels so good to cross them. <sighs> Aha. Simon. <laughs> so you didn't know the combination to the locked mirror Simon. room? Simon. No. Except... Except you do. You've written it down, haven't you? Aha! This is the combination to You're the... You're caught red-handed, Simon. Simon. You wrote. <laughs> it isn't a pin. It's a combination. Yeah. You see, this sort of thing makes me suspicious, Simon. What were you doing in there that you didn't want anyone, including me, to find out. It's just part of the course, isn't it? I just, I just wanted to go in there when I was ready. On your own? Navi, Didn't the mic is picking else. up your purring, no. madam. Simon, there was morphine kept in that room that might have played a part in Yes, the nuts closing in. We will Did soon Kate know the killer. Have the number. Yes, okay. Uh, we both went in. Together? We were trying to outdo each other. We we both tried to morph it. What do you mean, trying to outdo each other? It's part of the course. To see how far you can push yourself. To see if you can do something you wouldn't normally do. When was you know, some people do that, and then they die. Did you try? Yeah. Like Only that once. Jumping so off never a cliff, again. or... How about Kate? <laughs> I don't know. Sorry. Or parachuting. Or bungee jumping, like what a... So that's how ah. Kate got the morphine. But what exactly does danger, this danger. testing involve? Could this have been what killed Kate? Eleven o'clock. Just an hour left to solve this thing. Navi, quit messing with the mic. Oh. <clears throat> hey, I think your your name is pronounced Chow. Sorry if I mispronounce it, but we're doing well. Thanks for asking. Yeah, this is a, a fun game. <laughs> We've played through it multiple times. That blue filter, though. Keep pushing. <laughs> yeah. Just to show that it's evening. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. You can push it all the way in, Tom, if you want to. Excellent, Tom. Excuse me. Would someone care to tell me exactly what's going on here? Oh, we Don't come any closer. That man needs a doctor. No, he doesn't. I don't need a doctor. I'm fine. You've got a hole in your hand, dude. What is this? Hope he's had test his tetanus. Of what? What does it look like? It's a threshold test. A pain threshold test. I thought uh, you were supposed to be good at working things out. Inspector Jenks. And so this would be for Atlas, would it? Kyle. <clears throat> you disappear now. It's not a good idea to talk to a police inspector like that. Do it to make you. It's okay, Tom. Mr. Jenks won't be bothering us anymore. Don't make any rash commitments. <laughs> I wonder what the difference between an inspector and a detective is, or are they interchangeable? Well, well. You really should take more care of your things, Ryan. Is your keys, Kyle? No. <laughs> no! And then just walks nope. off. Nope, and walks off with the keys! <laughs> so that's threshold testing, is it? Sticking a skewer through your hand? I could just ask Ryan or Paul directly about this, but I think I'll bide my time. See what I can do with this key fob first. 
He said that's a new take on Frankenstein and his monster. <laughs> I think I know what we can do with a bomb. Oh, the car. <laughs> I love the I like it. Just like try it. Try it. Yeah. <laughs> Uh. Bingo. Well, Ryan, what have you been up to? Be very interesting to see how he explains this one. <laughs> I still love the license plate that says random. Yes, we love Jinx's acting. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me! Oh, not in here. Is it in here? Yes! Ah ha ha! Oh! So James is interested in poppy pods, is he? I think he's got some explaining to do. What, you don't want to look in the other one below it? No, mm -hmm. just... And James didn't okay. notice this when he looked last time? No, he just got it. What do you mean? We just saw the guy hand James the boxes. Oh! Oh. <laughs> Oops. Pay attention. Sorry, I'm reading the chat. How dare! I know! How dare I pay attention to the chat? <laughs> Notice me, senpai! Ask <laughs> you a couple more things, please. What can you tell me about several boxes of dried poppy pods in the greenhouse back there? He's like, oh crap. <laughs> Feel free to take some if you want. What are they for, James? Decoration? Why? Oh. Decoration. It's a big market for them among the over 70s. So what are you doing with them? Selling them to grannies. Okay, James, let's just cut to the chase. Are you extracting opium from them? Me? I can honestly say I've never done anything like that, Inspector. Oh, sure. no, not you. Mm -hmm. Very believable. Who yeah, Scout's Honor. Yep. <laughs> a friend. Someone gave them to uh, him. He asked me if I wanted them. I said I'd have a look and see if I liked them. You just thought you'd have a look. No particular reason. I'm a plant scientist, that's what I do. Have you ever sold them to anyone else? I only got them a few minutes ago. In the past. You know Kate's body had opium in the blood when it was found? No, no, I didn't. Hey, hey, that's nothing to do with me. <laughs> James, man of the people. <laughs> he is. <laughs> Fine. Thank you. Probably be back next <laughs> Fine. I'll be back, James. <laughs> yeah, don't you worry, James. We'll be back. Just a few more questions, if you don't mind. When did Ryan begin to suffer from arthritis? Ryan doesn't suffer from arthritis. Really? The only thing that Ryan suffers from is a pathetic inability <gasps> to deal with any kind of discomfort. He pulled his yeah. back sometime last year. Since then, he's going around telling everybody he suffers from arthritis. I thought he had medication for it. Oh, he only has medication because his GP, who is almost as dysfunctional as he is, keeps prescribing it for him. So you don't... Yeah, it is this smack talk. Like, at all. holy hell. Uh, 
And what do you know about Simon's laptop being stolen from Atlas? Oh, no, I wasn't happy about it. What did you do about it? Ryan paid a con man to install a complicated CCTV system at twice the price that it would probably have cost. Seemed to do the trick, though. We haven't had a theft since. Can you tell me about the room with the mirrors at Atlas? The one with the combination lock? How did you get in there? I was given the code for the combination. By Ryan? Well, nobody else is uh, allowed to know the code, are they? And not in theory. So how is the room used on the course, then? It's a meditation Not in theory. <laughs> where the students can reflect on themselves, literally. And what about the CD? Well, that helps, too. It's part of the programme. So you send the students into the room, they put the CD on, they stare into the mirrors. And how long does this last for? Until the CD finishes or they fall asleep. What else would you like to <laughs> Paul is, uh, something else. Ah, uh, he didn't ask about the pin on the back? Okay. Now, why do you think Ryan might want to give Kate a cheque for £500? I really no idea. Where did you find it? Just outside. You better ask him. You think Ryan was interested romantically in Kate? I know he has a weakness for blondes, but I didn't think it had gone so far as his offering them cash. I thought Kate had bl black hair. Um, yeah, she, brown hair. Plot hole! <laughs> plot hole! There's 70 plot holes. Oh. God damn it. Well, I guess not plot holes as much as, uh, uh, contradictions that they deem as not contradictions. yeah. Oh. What do you know about poppy pods? Poppy pods? Ever come across anyone selling them, using them? No. The guy has lots of marbles. <laughs> mm hmm. That's all for the moment. Thank you. I'm going to ask. Know. These two first before I talk to the That's the couple. Things, <laughs> yeah. okay. Do you know about the mirror room at Atlas? Mirror room. Um. No, I I heard about it, but I think it was only for the students later on the course. Something like that. Strange question. Have you ever known of anyone selling dried poppy pods? Poppy pods? Um, don't think so. Isn't that opium? Kind of. It's okay. Shh. <laughs> okay, it says that she wouldn't know about the money, but... But they were arguing. About blackmail. <laughs> I mean, she might have known about the blackmail, but not the fact that Ryan was trying to pay Kate off. Like, right here. Would that not be a clear... Oh, yeah, you know, that's probably what it is. <laughs> Odd question, but have you ever seen anyone handling dried poppy pods? Poppy pods? As in, for opium? No. How come so everyone knows James it comes from poppy? I had no idea team. until this game. Ooh. Where did he go? Oh. Oh, I don't know. Ooh. I didn't ask. James does his own thing. What does opium teach? Yes, taste? he does. I don't know. I didn't try it. Really? 
I didn't want to risk it, did I? But I went to hospital once. Uh, I, I had codeine and I went into anaphylactic shock. The doctor said it was um, an opium derivative, apparently, so. Yeah, that's one way to keep you off the stuff. Aha. You and Kate took morphine in the mirror room. That's what you said, isn't it? Yeah. But you're allergic to opiates, Simon. Oh. Opium. You didn't take the morphine at all, did you? Well, no. No, I didn't. Uh, Kate did, though. I thought you were trying to outdo each other. That was the point, wasn't it? We weren't trying to outdo each other as such. Go on. <sighs> Ryan wanted me to test Kate. Uh, to see how far she would go to be prime candidate. What candidate? Prime candidate. It, it means the best person in the group, basically. What do you mean, test her? But you do it in pairs. One person's the tester, it's me. And the other person's the... Victim? Well, it's not like that. It's completely consensual. It's just boundary testing. Ryan wanted me to test Kate. Because they thought she was the best student. Well, maybe. I... I don't know. I just did what I was told, OK? Except you decided to give her morphine. But... To break the law. Well, I can't change that now, can I? She didn't die of a morphine overdose, did she? She died because she drowned. But she drowned for reasons that aren't clear. Atlas seemed to have this all neatly worked out. If Simon's telling the truth, Atlas are lighting the fuse and then retiring to a safe distance, letting mm -hmm. students test themselves and push themselves to their limits while avoiding all comeback. Is this what happened to Kate? Oh, Ryan! <laughs> You've got some explaining to do! <laughs> Ryan! Knockity knock knock! That's okay? Got a few questions. Like to explain <laughs> what this is, please, Ryan? Five hundred pounds intended for Kate. It fell out of your car. At least I assume that's your car on the driveway at Brandon House. I suppose so. So why were you going to give Kate five hundred pounds, Ryan? It was just a little incentive, that's all. Just a little incentive. Not very little, Ryan. Five hundred pounds. She was a, a very good student. We, we heard that she was leaving. We wanted to give her something. But you didn't. Well, obviously not. Are you sure there wasn't any other reason you might want to give her this? Personal reason? No! Well, I'd like to keep hold of this for a little while, if you don't mind. Well, don't consider it a bribe, will you, Inspector? Oh, we'll get into some stuff soon. No, but let's go ahead and ask about pods. these. Mm -hmm. Come across anyone selling them or anything? Poppy pods. <laughs> well, don't tell anyone, Inspector, but I hear that you can make opium out of those. Why do you ask? Doesn't matter. <laughs> Just his face. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> he wanted some juice. <laughs> now, tell me what a prime candidate is. You're learning a lot, aren't you, Inspector? <laughs> you have no prime idea. candidates mm -hmm. are simply the best students, the ones with the most potential. And what benefits do they get from that? Well, they get the top job. Which is? Well, we have a deal with various multinationals. We train students to be exceptional, truly exceptional. And they get a wonderful top job. It seems a very simple deal. And how do you decide who the prime candidate is? Do you test students? No. Did you ever, say, ask Simon to test Kate, for instance? Oh, you've actually been speaking to Simon, haven't you? I really wouldn't trust anything that Simon Thompson says. You know, he spent the best part of two months trying to undermine Kate. No, 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 no. 
<laughs> now, Simon Thompson, it really isn't my place to speculate, but uh, if you're looking for motives, Inspector, uh, he certainly had a few motives. I, uh, more than I. A motive to kill her, do you mean? Now, that's very interesting, Inspector. <laughs> well, that's up to you to decide. Yeah, it's like you'll get contradictions between, <sighs> like, other... Probably be back later. It's fine. It's characters. fine. We'll just go to wifey over here. <laughs> A few more questions, please. Why not? What do you know about <sighs> Oh, my ears are she... Oh, God. Go on. Ever come across anyone trying to sell them or anything like that? Maybe even in here? <sighs> Not that I remember. Do you know what a prime candidate is? At Atlas. Um, it's the best student. And what does that mean? It means they get a guaranteed job with a very good salary. Well, that's the idea anyway. But? Mostly they aren't up to it. And what happens then? They get sacked. Well. Do you know anything about a locked room at Atlas uh -oh. with mirrors in it? Not off the top of my head, no. I think that's a question for Ryan. Uh, that's it for the time being. Thank you. Well, I guess that was Ryan that said that and not Rebecca. I like the glass oh. on that door. It's cool. Hello, Amy. A random husker has appeared. <laughs> i ask you a couple more things, please. What are prime candidates? The best of the bunch. The peaches. And so what does it mean to be a prime candidate? Success. We have a special relationship with many major international companies. We provide them with our best students and they get an instant job and what do you that's a pretty good deal to be fair well, it's a little kickback it's just business inspector thank you <laughs> probably be back later i know it's so wrong Jaws of blood! <laughs> A few more questions, if you don't mind. Emma. Do you know what a prime candidate is at Atlas? Yes, it's um, what every student wants to be. It's the best student. Apparently you get a great high-paid job afterwards. I don't think that really happens, though. Did you know anyone in the running to be prime candidate? What, like Simon? <laughs> I don't think they picked Simon, to be honest. Well, he's got too many morals, and you can't have both at Atlas. Good for uh, Simon, for though, to have morals. Though he seems to be a little bit shaky on those. With some of the things he does. Be back later on, if that's okay. 